Hello, my name is John Barr, and this is my presentation on how to win 60 Day. Now, I'm preparing and presenting this in time for our Fall Flex 60 Day heading into the autumn of 2021, but the ideas I'm going to present today are timeless, and they will last you in whatever 60 Day challenge you get yourself into. All right, let's begin. First off, with a bit of an introduction to get us ready. Number one, who am I? Why should you listen to me? I'm John Barr, baby. <laughs> Here are my, some, some of my certifications. Uh, a lot of stuff from the National Academy of Sports Medicine, including their Certified Personal Trainer Cert, which is my main cert, their Nutrition Certification, Behavioral Change, Corrective Exercise, another Nutrition Certification through Precision Nutrition, got a Yoga Certification, a couple cert certifications having to do with yoga. So I've, I've got a lot of pieces of paper. Um, perhaps more importantly, I've got a lot of experience, 12 years in health and fitness, 10 and a half years as a Certified Personal Trainer, and three years right here at Lifetime Athletic. But as far as 60 Day is concerned, here's what I had to show. Back in May of uh, 2019, I decided to take one of our 60 Day challenges seriously and went after it myself and applied a lot of the principles I'm going to tell you about today. And that's what I did. Uh, in just those eight weeks, I lost 15 pounds and lost 10% body fat, uh, doing the things you're going to see here. So I know what I'm talking about, right? Moving on, it's only 60 days. Now, the 60 day competition is actually only eight weeks, so just 56 days. With that in mind, you've gotta consider what it is you want. Do you wanna gain weight, do you wanna lose weight, do you wanna tone up, is there some combination of that? What are you willing to do in order to get that? If your goal is to lose a significant amount of weight, it's going to take some significant dedication and some significant steps that are outside of what you're normally doing. What are you willing to do in order to get it? This 60 day is your chance to try something crazy, something impossible, something painful, something that might be unhealthy if you did it for the long term. Let me give you an example. Uh, life's all about balance, right? So we have to balance our home life and our work life, our workouts with our rest, etc. During 60 day is the chance to maybe give up a little bit of sleep in order to get a few more workouts at the gym. Now, if you did that for the rest of your life, it might be too much, it might be overtraining, it might be, uh, might be not getting enough sleep and causing other problems to come up. But 60 days is a great chance to throw that balance off a little bit in order to achieve a short-term goal. Does that make sense? Hope so. And it's also not your last 60 days. It's the next 56 days of the rest of your life, meaning you can take this very short-term uh, setting in order to build habits that will last you forever, such as journaling, meal prep, recovery, coming to the club more often. These are all things that you would want to keep with you after 60 days, and this is a great chance to turn those into real life habits, especially journaling, that's a really good one. Um, this is also a launching point for the rest of your life, and it's a great chance to really focus on a goal, and it's a chance to learn a whole lot, such that when you exit 60 day, maybe you're the grand champion and you win all the stuff, maybe you hit all of your fitness goals, maybe you didn't, but either way, you come out of this a better person than when you started. That's what 60 day can do. Now, then there's your introduction. I know how to help you. It's only eight weeks, and I want you to emerge from the 60 day more prepared for the next 60 years. So for the rest of our time today, I'm gonna to talk about some simple points on nutrition, resistance training, cardiovascular conditioning, recovery. I'm gonna give you some action steps to take home. Let's get started with nutrition. Now, if you've joined 60 day, you have gotten some sort of link, probably looks like this, that's gonna lead you to a page with some digital uh, resources. All right, let's go over these. You've got your get started guide. That's going to kind of give you the ground rules. It's going to tell you all the steps you need to take to get started. Then you've got your recipe book and two meal plans. All right, now these all work together. The meal plan is going to be made up of recipes out of the recipe book. Whether you choose the regular meal plan or the vegetarian, it's all going to be referencing back to this. So this is a very important document. These are also great. Download them. If you're the kind of person that likes paper, print them off, get them to a point where you can absorb them, you can learn from them. That recipe book is something that I still use to this day. 
lots of great recipes in there for even when I'm not on 60 Day, just foods that I like that I know are pretty healthy that my family likes too. Now beyond that, beyond those simple things, because the, the meal plans are great, they're very complicated, all right? They assume that you have two to three hours to cook multiple days per week. And if you do great, do that, because they're great meal plans. But if you don't have that kind of time, you need to figure something else out. Here's what that can look like. Number one, it's a great website, Precision Nutrition, so that's one of my certifications. They have something called the Nutrition Calculator, all right? You go to that website, you run through the calculator. It's gonna ask you some questions about how old you are, what you're like, um, uh, how often you're gonna work out, how active you are in your daily life, um, what your goals are, what kind of food you like to eat, etc. It's gonna ask you all these questions. It's gonna pump out a calorie goal and macronutrient goals. So it's gonna say you need to eat, in order to get to your goal and the time frame you allotted, you need to eat 1,850 calories a day, you need to eat 185 grams of protein, some carbs and fats, just lays it all out for you, okay? Now, that's one of many sources on the internet to get that information, but it's the one I like because it's my certification. I know they know what they're talking about. So you take that number and you go to eatthismuch.com, all right? Eat This Much is a website where you tell it, here are the calories I want to take in, here's how many times a day I like to eat, what should I eat? And it's going to pump out some information for you. Now it's gathering from a large database some food that I've never heard of before, like combinations, right? I think it suggested uh, cottage cheese and salsa for me one time, which I've never tried before, it's not bad. Uh, it's going to suggest a lot of things like that. You can get a free membership on there and tweak it a little bit more. You can give it uh, macronutrient goals. You can tell it foods you don't want to eat. You can give it uh, foods you're not going to eat at all, things you're allergic to, for example. You can do all that. Um, and it's going to give you ideas. Now, you can pay them. I don't do the paid version, but you can give them money and you can get um, full week long meal plans. It'll make grocery lists for you. It'll do all that stuff. Um, I use it for just kind of ideas, right? If I'm not getting enough calories or if I'm trying to cut back calories and I'm hungry all the time, that website really helps me. And then finally, you got to start writing all this stuff down. You got to go to my fitness pal, right? Um, lots of places. Again, you can track your nutrient intake. I like my fitness pal because it's free. Uh, it has a really nice app and it has a large database of users, meaning if I go somewhere and eat something, it's probably already in there. I don't have to inquire what the ingredients were. It's in the app. I can record it that way. So you get your numbers, you get some ideas of what to eat, and you start tracking everything, right? Because if you're eating too many calories for your goal, then you're not going to get to your goal. And if you're not eating enough calories for your goal, same story, right? That's a great place to start on your nutrition. You got to move on. Resistance training. So this is lifting heavy things. This is your workout. Now, if you are in 60 day, you've got some workouts given to you in the lifetime training app. You need to go get that app if you haven't already. It's not the same app that you use to check into the club. It's a different app, but it's still free. You can get this on Apple or on uh, Android. Get the app. All your workouts are going to be in there. The important thing that you need to know in your workouts is to increase the resistance. All right. For your first workout, the very first time you ever do, say, a goblet squat, you might hold 10 pounds and that's enough work for you today. But the next time you do a goblet squat, you need to go heavier than 10 pounds. Now, I'm oversimplifying, but the idea is that you can only get stronger, right? See this orange line? This is somebody who's doing starting strength, which is a barbell program that I love to use. And that orange line is tracking their deadlifts over 20 different workouts. And you can see that that orange line is going up. That only happens because every time they worked out, they put more weight on the bar. Now uh, here they jumped up for some reason, kept in the line, and then they got to go up again. All right, you have to increase the weight. You have to increase either the load, that's the weight you're holding, the reps, that's the number of times you're doing it, the sets, that's the number of times that you're starting to do and, and, and squats, um, the volume, that's the thing we're looking for. Sets times reps times weight equals volume. It's the total number of pounds you moved over the, across the, the course of the workout. And that number needs to increase. Increasing volume is how you get stronger. All right? That's your tip for resistance training. I also like to tell people, lift more days than you don't. All right? So if a week is seven days, I want you to come in and lift four days a week. If a month is 30 days, I want you to be in this club 16 times. All right? Because that is going to fix your mind. If you come to the club more often than you don't come to the club, then when you wake up in the morning, what you are going to think is, I'm the kind of person who goes to the gym. I'm going to the gym today, probably. 
more often than not. Okay, it's going to change your mind. It's going to get you in the right mindset to achieve things. We've also got your Saturday sweat sessions, 10 o'clock every Saturday, absolutely free. Come join us for a workout. It's different every week. We've got a different person leading it every week. Check in on the app and uh, register for a place on that. Okay, simple thoughts about resistance training. Obviously, we could spend five hours talking about strength training, but that's the basic stuff that you need to know for 60 days. Get into the app to see what they've got set up for you. Cardiovascular conditioning, all right? So you gotta do some cardio. Now, I believe in heart zone training. Training, meaning we're going somewhere, right? We're not just getting on the treadmill with the same settings we did last time for the same amount of time that we did last time in order to watch that little calorie number count up on the treadmill. That's not what we're doing. What we're trying to do is to make ourselves healthier. So we're gonna get a heart rate zone, right? How many beats per minute? Is our heart going and we're going to go in that zone for a little bit of time and we're going to go to a different zone for a little bit of time we're going to come back down again we can talk about this for hours and hours and hours a great book to check out would be um, the mathetone method m-a-f-f-e-t-o-n-e -E, uh, by the guy who basically invented uh, heart zone training phil mathetone you can read that book um, you can check out the app we've got workouts in there if you're on 60 day you've got some cardiovascular conditioning in there right check those out they're going to help I recommend cardio three to four times a week, but, and this is vital, for most people, strength training, that is resistance training, is more important than cardiovascular conditioning. For most people, 90% of people, strength training is more important than cardiovascular conditioning. What real world impact does that have on you? If you're doing both cardio and strength training on a day, on a Tuesday, then I want you to do your strength training first, okay? Because, you might get really, really tired and not be able to do both. There might be a fire and you can't do both. You might get a phone call and you gotta go do something. You can't do both. So if you only do one, strength training is probably gonna be the most important thing. Uh, it also means that uh, if you have to choose one or the other, if you're setting up your week and you know like you've got a weird trip or something coming up, make sure you get your strength training, all right? Building lean muscle is going to increase your metabolic rate is going to burn more calories throughout the day, which is better for you than cardio. All right? I'm not saying don't do cardio. It has its place. But I'm saying strength training for most people is more important. If you got more questions about that, find me. We can talk about it. Let's talk about recovery. Because the key here is that if you do too much work, or you do it too fast, or you go for too long, you're going to get hurt. And if you get hurt, you're not going to win 60 days because you're not gonna be able to do the workouts. You're not gonna be able to do the stuff you need to do. So we want to avoid injury, also just because getting hurt is no fun. So we're gonna avoid injury. How are we gonna do that? We're gonna have proper recovery. Once a week, you need to do something for your recovery. Some sort of active recovery is something that still, you can still consider a workout maybe, but it's not gonna kill you and it's not gonna make you more stressed, all right? Uh, again, back to starting strength. You have the stress, the good stress, like the lifting of things. You have the uh, adaptation, that's your body getting stronger, and then you have the recovery. You can only work as hard as you recover, so you've got to do some recovery. All right, some suggestions up, up here, some light yoga, walking, foam rolling, stretching, sitting in the sauna, doing uh, some light swimming. Not like swimming until you can't breathe, just, you know, the other day I got in the pool and I walked up and down the pool and then I swam up and down the pool and then I walked up and down the pool. It was great. It was fantastic. It was a beautiful day outside. Recommended. So about once a week, you should do some recovery. You also need to sleep like it's your job, all right? Now, I was saying earlier, you might be throwing off that balance, but when you go to get some sleep, you need to make that an event, all right? You need to get your, your blackout curtains up. You need to get your white noise machine on. I like to do an earplug in an ear once in a while, sleep mask, you know, cool down the room, put on some blankets, like do all the things that you can read about on the internet in order to get good sleep, because sleep is a very important part of recovery. And again, very rule of thumbish here, but drink a gallon of water every day, all right? If you're drinking enough water, you're going to be able to build enough muscle, you're going to be able to flush out anything you need to, you're just going to feel better. So drink a gallon of water every day. If that seems like too much, obviously don't start with that today. Figure out how much water you're drinking today and increase that by 10 to 15% week over week and pretty soon you'll be up to a gallon. So if you're drinking a gallon of water, you're gonna feel great. Also gonna pee all the time, so keep that in mind. How about some action steps, John? What can I take out of this today? Number one, if you have not already, get your before picture and your before numbers. Most importantly, weight and body fat percentage, okay? You can get all kinds of measurements. You can do circumference measurements. 
We do like a, uh, you know, we do our first sweat session, our Saturday sweat session, which is the assessment workout, where you get your number, how many squats can you do in a minute, how many push-ups can you do in a minute, stuff like that. Good number, but most importantly, weight and body fat percentage, because that's going to be important. Number two, schedule your workouts for the week. I like to go one week at a time when I'm going through 60 days. I schedule my workouts, I schedule my meals, I get my food and I make my meals once a week. For me, I'm off on Sundays and Mondays. Sunday I go to church, do my thing, come back home. Usually Sunday afternoon I go grocery shopping. And then Sunday and Monday I make all my food for the week as much as I can anyway. Uh, for me, my breakfast is a smoothie that I can make pretty easily in the morning. Uh, my lunch is pretty basic, so I make the salads and I get the hard-boiled eggs going. And my dinner is a, is a crock pot dish. And so I make that in the crock pot and I put it in its containers. And so I'm good for the week. So I don't have any excuses, right? Because excuses are going to be one of the things that bring you down. Get a support system that doesn't live with you. Now, I love my wife, she's very supportive, but sometimes I drive her crazy when I talk about my workouts, or when I talk about uh, my diet or whatever. You need a support system that does not live with you. Again, if you're on the app, you can find yourself a group of people that are also in 60 Day. If you don't have one of those, talk to me, I can get you on my group. Uh, finding other people who are like-minded is very useful. Finding people who are not spending a lot of time with you but can still be supportive is important. But don't drive your family crazy just because you're driving yourself crazy. Ask some questions. I'm here. I'm here all the time. You've got my, uh, I mean, you're on my YouTube channel if you're watching this, so drop me a comment in here or find me at the club. My email address is John Barr, that's J-O-N-B-A-R-R -R at gmail.com. You can write me there. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions that I can. If you've got my number, send me your text. Uh, and finally, buy a journal and a pen. Journaling has been one of the greatest things that I ever took out of 60 Day. Um, back on the one that I was doing back in 2019, I was concurrently doing a personal development video series. And in there, he had a lot of thoughts about journaling. So I did that. I took that into 60 Day where I'd write down my thoughts. I'd write down my workouts. I'd write down my food. I'd write down uh, how I was feeling. Uh, if I was getting bummed out about something. When I started getting a little bit crazy toward the end, I was just writing all that down. And that really worked for me. It saved me a lot of uh, problems with other people, right? Because there were times that I was being crazy. I didn't want to share with my wife that I was thinking about uh, getting off the diet and forget all this. It's stupid, right? I could just put that in the journal. It's a little bit safer. Uh, get yourself a journal. I say get a pen, too. Get a pen that goes with that journal. So when you need to write down your journal, you'll have to go find me a pen. Cool? Journaling is a thing that you can take out of this that can last you forever. That's how you win 60 days. All right, you make a plan, you execute the plan, and you stay with it week on week. I know you've got questions. If you were here live, I'd be able to answer those right now, but you're not, you're watching this on the internet. So hit me up, ask me questions. I can clarify things that were in here. If you've got other questions, I'd love to know those too. All right, let's get after it. Let's win 60 days. Thanks, guys.